Which means, oh, 
and liberty may plenty dwell within our borders. And they played that, or I sang it before every theater show that I was attending in Kenya. The other thing that I want you to be mindful of is the N in Shine Bright, which stands for Never Give Up. The ladies of the English Fluency Committee went to Tanzania and found one, the issue that we're trying to solve is this lack of educational gains for our students, right? And so with the work that the English Fluency Committee has done with women and people going every year to work for two weeks to help these students establish their English fluency, the national rate for students going to A-level for getting to university is 3%. At Sega, 100% of those girls are going to higher levels, right? And so how could I not be a part of that? So my work with the English fluency community is helping look at curriculum, make sure that it makes sense, make sure that it's culturally relevant, adding some Swahili and editing here and there, adding songs and joy. And what I love about these ladies is that they understand that to master a language, kids need to be seen. They don't need to just be taught in a way that's like rote. They need to be seen and need to be heard. And that's why I love working with these women because they want to make the lessons engaging. They're trying to put their whole body in it and they want the girls to be able to develop voices for themselves. The last thing that I'll mention in terms of the remote learning is one of the things that I was blessed to do was to teach the teachers who are now doing remote programs. Just because of COVID doesn't mean this work stopped. Right? They adapted and developed new ways to see these children. And so they're remote learning sessions. And so I got to teach American teachers about all the Zoom techniques and like what to do to make things work abroad. And so I'll tell you a secret, just like I told them, the number one key to running a Zoom class is to wear pants. Because uh -huh. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. You might need to jump up, like, so just like cover yourself. And then all the other shine bright attendants will take care of themselves. <laughs> And so, I mentioned the name of this group was Haba Na Haba. Are you saying? Haba Na Haba. Step by step. There have been many steps that it took to get me to where I am now, as Betsy delineated. So, graduating from Washington University in St. Louis with honors in African American Studies, creating the minor of Swahili, coming here to New York, becoming a teacher, teaching through quarantine, joining the English fluency community, and seeing the work being done despite this, it all comes back to my why. So there's a great Steve Harvey quote that says, the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. I wasn't even supposed to be born, so I take every day very seriously. And then I also discovered the reason I'm supposed to be born is to teach and educate teachers, which is connected to this work. Teachers that look like me, teachers that don't look like me, but if I can bless girls across the world who look like me, why wouldn't I do it? So what's your next step? What is your why? And one of the things that I also learned in terms of tenacity was this book, Dead Aid. Um, it's written by uh, Gambisa Moyo, which means heart. Um, and it basically talks about how, so two things. The reason these young girls were not succeeding academically wasn't because they had a learning disability. Like as a special educator, I'm, I'm very versed in what a learning disability is, how to address it, how to do all these things. I studied how they approach special education in Africa as well. There's a systematic problem if 3% of your kids are meeting, of the girls, right, are meeting proficiency level. To meet a systematic problem, you need substantial change. And so that's what's happening here. This is not dead aid, where money is being transferred from one country to another country, one NGO to another NGO, and the people don't actually see anything. This is going to those girls that you see there, the work that they put in, the teachers on the ground who are doing this work. It is impactful work, it is substantial work, it's not fluff. So if you wanna be a part of something that's real and you're not already, join us. Because look out, because here they come, and they're marching on to the beats they drum. They are not scared to be seen, they make no apologies, so we must teach. Thank you, have a wonderful day. Like a diamond